you've treated a lot of people with rheumatoid arthritis and we know how like debilitating, even like yeah. some people can be bed bound with this sort of stuff. Yeah. What results have you seen from people with rheumatoid arthritis that have that have come to you and, and ha- just give us an idea or an example of that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So I'm just thinking of somebody that I saw yesterday and it was a follow up of somebody I've been seeing for about two years now. So it's not a quick fix by any means. Um, now this girl was on a lot of medication and the first day she arrived in my clinic, um, I would never forget that day because it was so dramatic. Um, her, her mum, um, came in and she, she brought her in the door and she said, my daughter's going to die. And um, this was a grown up daughter, by the way, she was 40s, 40s, but her mum had brought her because she was completely incapacitated. And she said, you've got to do something, you've got to do something. And she's been she'd been through the medication and it's for various reasons, things just weren't under control at all for her. And that was that was probably my most serious, most challenging case I've had. So her mobility was her mobility was terrible. She was brought in in a wheelchair and her fatigue level was almost almost, I mean, debilitating. It feels like you need a new word for what she was experiencing. It was very, very bad. Um, And it took, and she couldn't eat. Interestingly, she couldn't eat anything. She couldn't eat a vegetable. She couldn't eat a bit of protein. Like her whole gut was just, it was just broken. It was broken. So we had to use a lot of tricks of nutrition and different powders and things you can get just to get some nutrients into her and start her off. And it was a slow start for the first six months. It was very, very slow progress, but we just kept kept chipping away at it and now she's not on any medication now and she is she's on a number of nutritional supplements but not very many in the grand scheme of things and they're natural supplements they are natural supplements just to control her sort of inherent tendency towards inflammation her gut is fine now she can eat everything she has so many vegetables in her diet now she there's nothing she can't eat but she does have to be quite careful with the diet so as not to trigger the inflammatory process again but her gut is a completely different it, it is literally like i would have removed it hosed it down put it back in again fixed everything that it's meant to be producing and doing that's effectively what we're doing it's taken 2 years to do it but she's so stable now and she's absolutely fine she doesn't need a wheelchair her energy level is she has a 10 minute sit down each day that's it um and yeah and her mobility's great. changed her mobility is fine now she doesn't have she's got some she's got some deformities on her hands on her fingers and that probably quite possibly never go but um it will um you know it's not causing her any pain there's a little bit of restricted mobility with things like opening a jar but it doesn't hurt her anymore and she can do it it's just the what happens is that it sort of sets the joints out of place and your fingers start pointing in funny directions and it just makes them not as easy to use but there's no new swelling no new inflammation and no pain at all